Hey guys, this is Matt from Human Avenger, and today we'll be discussing some of the new weapons that have been unveiled to be being changed in Halo 5. Recently, uh, over the past couple weeks, actually, Speed for 3 has announced six new weapons that are getting changed. Being the Assault Rifle, the Battle Rifle, the Carbine, DMR, Gunfire Magnum, and SMG. So let's get started with the classic Assault Rifle. The Iconic AR is a fully automatic weapon that's fairly effective at mid-range via burst firing, but it's more effective at close range when the trigger is held down. The weapon tuning changes to the AR are designed to reward more skillful use. If you recall back in April, we revealed that there wasn't much difference between a Diamond level player and a Champion level player in regards to AR effectiveness. This retuned version should be more rewarding when used effectively and hopefully more balanced when battling players that are not wielding the same weapon. Now, I'm assuming these changes are going to make it a little more, I want to say harder to use, but it requires more planning whenever you do use it, more, like it says, skillful use. So, <clears throat> I really like this idea. Next is Battle Rifle. The Battle Rifle is another iconic Halo weapon that's known for high accuracy burst fire and excelling at mid-range combat. Currently, a Halo 5 BR is a bit too effective at all ranges, so the tuning updates are, is designed to help better distinguish its prowess in mid-range engagements. This isn't to say the BR will outright lose any fights in close or longer ranges. An accurate player who lands their shot should be able to have a firing a fighting chance even at close range. This is something we'll be monitoring closely. So I feel like this might be accuracy change maybe. Probably the kick of the weapon is going to be increased which is the only thing I could think because it'd still be effective at close range would lose its effectiveness at far range but it'd also affect it to mid range which is what they're wanting to define. So I'm not exactly sure what they're going to do with this. Maybe making it have a cone style accuracy like you fire the three shots, the closer to the midpoint to its perfect range, the closer the shots will get to hitting the same spot, but the closer you are to the weapon or the further you are from that midpoint, the more spread out it'll be. It'll be a double cone accuracy, which actually is something I just thought of. would actually be a pretty cool way to tune some weapons. Next, the carbine is being changed. The carbine is a highly accurate, fast-firing, semi-automatic weapon that's great at suppressing opponents and cleaning up kills. Today in Halo 5, the Carbine is overly effective at long range, so the upcoming tuning update changes are aimed at strengthening its role as a rapid fire suppression rifle without being dominant and oppressive from far distance. So they might be increasing its damage fall off, maybe. Next is DMR. The designated marksman rifle is an accurate semi-automatic weapon that designs to shine at long range combat while being less effective at mid range and even less so at short range, which is where I commonly use it anyway. Currently, the DMR is living outside of that intended role. The desired tuning adjustments to the DMR are to strengthen its place in the sandbox as a long-range marksman weapon that's very capable of attacking faraway opponents, but isn't as dominant in close quarters engagements. So, maybe a reverse fall-off? I don't really know what they're going to do with this one. Next is the Gunfighter Magnum. The Gunfighter Magnum fills the role of fast-firing, semi-automatic sidearm with medium accuracy that excels at close range. This weapon generally performs as intended, but the tuning update is directed at making the weapon slightly less effective at longer ranges, so that it will really stand out as a close-range weapon that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with other close-range weapons with some accurate shooting. So, probably a nerf to some of its damage at further ranges possibly. I've never actually used this weapon as range. This is more or less I, I go SMG and this for close quarters combats, like base defending in Warzone, so I assume that might be about what they're gonna be doing with it. Next, the SMG is designed to be a high rate of fire but inaccurate bullet hose of a weapon. It's intended for close quarters combat and to be less ideal at longer engagement distances. In the sand mocks, the SMG is a bit too effective outside its role as a close range weapon. The tuning changes to the SMG are designed to more clearly establish and cement the close range role of this weapon. 
So that's about all the changes that are being done. There's a, of course, a couple of little tuning things that they'll be testing, and it's going to start extremely soon by what the forum post said. Like I said, I'll link this post in the description below so you can read all the weapon changes. And this is all about it for this video. So please like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching. Please submit your clips and prefabs down to my email or to my gamertag below. I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Matt, the Emerald Avenger. Peace out.